Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video is going to be kind of like a, a tribute to one of my favorite OG YouTubers that I have been watching since day one, since he started his channel, who have to be the lovely and the iconic Matthew Francis, but who also goes by Matthew Miranda. Um, I just have to say... Matthew that I have been watching you since you first started your channel since you've been working with Mac I have been watching you since you have been working with Mac I remember seeing your very first video on my on YouTube back in 2007 I remember watching your um, contouring video that was posted on November 10th, 2007. I remember watching that video thinking, oh my god, like, this is going to be an epic video. And um, I was just like so surprised that there was the first male person that was doing makeup online. Um, ever since I watched that, um, video back in the day I watched tons of your videos since you first started your channel and I was so surprised of like the talent and the techniques and the products that you was using back in the day like everything was MAC cosmetics because you was working with MAC um you was working at the MAC counter and you was you know like in training and you was like doing all these doing all these amazing things and that's when you posted your first video which was so many years ago I remember watching that video and I was thinking oh my god like this is gonna be entertaining um, and then I watched when you did um, your makeup collection video also I thought it was so funny and entertaining and crazy that um, a lot of those products that you don't really see anymore because that was so many years ago that like Mac used to be so like affordable back in the day and now it's up the price now I mean it's just so crazy so I thought in the honor of you I will recreate that iconic video when he did the um the sunset eyes video I thought that I will recreate that but using different products from when you did that back in the day so as um you can see I already done my primer foundation and powder I put some powder underneath my eyes so that way any of the excess eyeshadow can just fall from just to wipe it off the foundation that I used was the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear. Now this foundation stays on for 30 hours. Um, I found this in Walmart. Sorry, um, I found this in Walmart actually, and I was trying to look for like a really, really, really good foundation that will like stay all day. And this is it. This was a little pricey this was fifty three dollars fifty three dollars for this foundation um it's the uh maybelline's per stay active wear this stays on for 30 hours literally all day your foundation will stay for 30 hours so um i am in the shade 140 i know it looks kind of a little bit like a uh, um a yellowish tone but don't worry I always warm myself up with some contour but yeah I am in the shade 140 um so I decided in the honor of you I will uh do that look but a little bit more brighter so let's get this video started Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do first is we're going to prime our eyes with the e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer. Now, I this would be like, what, my second bottle of this? 
that is how good this stuff is. You only need maybe like that much. But if you're doing like your whole face with this, you might need like three pumps of this. And it is sticky. So, but that's a good thing because it's gonna make your found it's gonna make like any of like your concealers or your foundation stay beautifully. And let me tell you, this stuff is the bomb. When I first saw this on TikTok, I was like, oh my god, I got to try it. When I first tried it for the first time, I was a mouse. I love elf stuff. This so good. So anyway, I applied that. Next, I'm going to apply the elf putty primer, which is really great too. I know it looks kind of like white at first, but it goes the way once you rub it in, it disappear. Okay, then I'm doing it in the other eye. I take about that, about that much. And I'm using the e.l.f. matte putty primer. So I'm putting that right on top of the other primer. Okay, so let's get started with our base. Now I want to start, um, I, uh, I'm going to use the Clown White Makeup. I use this before I put on my eyeshadow because it makes like the color show better. So I'm gonna take a brush. I'm just taking like a flat. Oh, oh actually, I'm gonna take, take a bed brush to that. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna take a flat concealer brush, just like this, and I'm gonna dip in side. And I like using clown white because it kind of makes the color show a little bit better. So I'm gonna apply my eye. Doesn't have to be no perfect because I'm gonna blend this out with like a sponge. And show you a little closer. So I take a concealer brush, and this is how I do my eyes. Since my eyes are not really like that big, they're very small. So I make it a little bit higher than what I normally do. I'll go about like that much. And then I'll fill in all of this in. And I'll be go a little bit higher than that, but it depends. If I go over, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna blend this out anyway. So it doesn't matter how much you put, just put enough. I'm gonna go corner. And it doesn't have to be like perfect because I'm going to blend this out with a sponge. So next I'm going to do like this. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend this out anyway. I kind of got inspired since I watched Matthew Francis back in the day doing YouTube. I just got like really inspired of just like the techniques and the tricks that he was giving people on how to do like a natural look or like a wire look. I remember watching a another video of his too when he was doing like the perfect red lip and um, he was showing us like how to do like perfect lip if you want to go, if you want to rush, um, which was really really entertaining. And I watched like a lot of his vlogs too when he was talking about like his family and his grandfather being sick. And I was like such a oh and then I'm gonna use the um wet and wild um sponge, which is I found this in CBS. Um anyway, I just got like really inspired watching all his videos. I mean when he was talking about like a, when he was talking about like his grandfather being sick for a long time and didn't even know what was wrong with him and that really kind of like inf like made him go into like depression and it was really 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 sad because I don't think anybody should ever go through that when they are dealing with <clears throat> a family member that's like sick or going through a lot of stuff but it was just actually really sad when he was like like telling about like his grandfather being really sick and didn't really know like what was wrong and he was just getting like worse and worse um, until they found out what was wrong with him <clears throat> but it was just really sad to hear about his story and really like him 
coming online and really telling you know like what's going on and why was he posting any more the videos like I guess as much as he used to be because he was going through a lot at the time you know like with his family and his grandfather was really sick and that's really hard to go through something like that <clears throat> it's not really easy but you have to try to be strong but it's hard so anyway now I'm just gonna take the end of the sponge and just blend this out <clears throat> blend this out <clears throat> excuse me and blend this out with a sponge I know I like go a little high but I'm going to pour in a lot of copper. Okay, next we're going to start with the color. Okay, for, okay, for the palette that I'm using, I'm using the Morphe Fairy Tale palette. It's a beautiful palette. It has all the colors that you will need. I will be using this side. I'm going to be taking a brush. Taking an eyeshadow brush. Taking, taking an eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna be dipping into kind of like a like orange color. I'm gonna be dipping into that one. So I'm gonna dip into that. As you can see, I dipped up quite a lot. So let me start. A lot of excess from this palette. So, like up here. So I'm looking at that my big mirror. I'm not really, really bright orange, and I'm filling it in. Brown. Oh, yeah, brown. Really, I know you can't really see it because it looks like it's like just like like pink. And let me tell you, this is a really really bright color. My eyes are shaped kind of differently, so I'm just applying this all over. Next, I'm going to go in with a yellowy color. Going with a yellow. Make sure my brush is nice and I'm going to be adding all this into the yellow, uh, into the orange. So I'm extending the yellow. I know you can't really see because it, it looks like I have no yellow in. But I just mixed it in for that one. I'll show you that close up. Can we tell because like the lighting is so bright? Okay, sorry, like my lighting is so bright. I'm using like a yellowish like color. I'm just mixing it in with the orange. Just mix it in inside of the orange. Next, I'm gonna be taking like a mystery from here. Just enough. 
Halfway. Next, I'm gonna take another yellow. It's more bright. It's really, really bright. Mm. Yeah, this shows better. Taking the color golden bear, just like a really, really bright, like yellow. So I'm taking a darker one. I'm taking that same orange that I applied on this side. That much orange. Why not? It's halfway. Mm. Orange. Next, I'm gonna take a, a same yellow, but a little bit more brighter. Now I'm gonna take a lighter yellow and mixing that in. Taking two different yellows and just mixing that in. Uh. You may say, oh my god, this seems like a sunset, but if I add the red in here, it's going to make it look like. And let me tell you, like, back in the day when Matthew Francis did that sunset eyes, it was just makeup that he was just using from that cosmetics. And he had to work with what he had. They did not have no ring lights back then. So, like, The lighting back then was not great, but he made it work, which is great because you work with what you have. You start, you start from there, then you work your way up. So, so I'm just mixing in colors together. Next, I'm going to take from one of my other palettes, which is the Beauty. Godzilla palette and I'm using that as we dip it into a red and we dip it into that red right here taking just the tiniest bit the smallest and ever so lightly Blend it in. You don't want too much, just enough. You do, yeah. Mm. Take a little bit more. Mm. 
I'm not going to take like too much of this. But... Next, I'm going to take like a sand color. Just soften it up a little. It's more like a peachy. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take a black. With just the tiniest amount I'm going to take. Just a drop. Like that much. Like. I'm gonna take that. That much of a black. You can't really see it, but it took the smallest amount. Like. <clears throat> it took the smallest amount of black. Then I'm gonna take that peachy, that sand color. Soften it up and make it too harsh. <laughs> so on the other side, just not even that much. Just uh, enough. Sorry, my shoulder's starting to hurt. Just taking the slightest just doing it like right here. In the middle, it's going to be like a glitter. Okay. So I'm going to go into my Looney Tunes collection. I'm going to go down right now. So the color that I'm going to take is, I think it's like this color called d -Rail. Let's take my finger. It's like a gold. And look at that. I'm just using my finger just to lightly press it in. Such a pretty color. This is gorgeous. Pretty that is. Same finger. I mean, come on, you cannot get better than that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, this is gorgeous. Matthew, I hope you are going to see this video. I'd love for you to recreate this look in your own stylish way. The ends. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now we're gonna take the big old powder brush. Anyway, mm. I'm gonna get started on our contour. So I can get two darker shades, which are these two. I'm gonna 
I definitely want to be taken. Now I'm going to take a little bit more dark. So we want that one to be here. And we want to run it upwards. Taking the two darker shades. Yeah. And you're working the way and then up to here. Okay, and then I'm going to take for liner, I'm going to take a black wet wild lipstick that I used to line my eyes. I'm going to take that and find a brush. I'm going to like this brush. And take that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, did the other eye off camera. And now it's time to do some highlight. I'm going to take from the Looney Tunes collection again and take both of these colors. It's like a highlighting brush by the color by Color workshop. Color workshop. I'm going to take both colors, Diva and Goodness. I'm just ever so lighting. I like to do my nose too. A little bit of shine. Same colors again. This side, so. Taking the color Diva and Goodness together. Okay, next I'm going to go in. 
some mascara. And the mascara. Mascara. You use the L'Oreal Paris. This goes. Just a little check on them from Matthew. And when I hear you, they do bottom lashes. Next will be lips, and we'll use by this little tint. It's like a burgundy. And, ooh. Hey, yeah. Take the color, the LA color lipstick. Put that on top. And now for setting spray, I'm going to take the NYX 16 Hour Wear spray on my face. Oof. Next, I'm going to take the Morphe Mist Spray. I'm going to let this dry, then I'm going to apply some e.l.f. Putty Blush. And I'm going to let this dry. Let everything come dry. I know that back in the day he was using like Max Fix Plus, but I'm using the NYX 16 hour wear. This stuff is amazing for 16 hours, it's good. So I'm just letting this dry for a few seconds. So this is still a little bit wet, I'm going to apply my elf putty blush see, just don't much of my finger it is a cream and put it on top of my highlight Kind of like turn down the highlight. I'm gonna go back in with that color. I'm gonna take a big brush this time. And set that cream. Ooh, it's much brighter now. I'm using the colors uh, Sally and Sweetie Pie. Which is a mix of two different pinks. 
This is really, really shiny. So, really, really shiny color. And here is the final look. I hope you would enjoy watching this video. Um, I hope you, Matthew Francis, will watch this video and I would love to see you create this look of yours that you did that you did many years ago but with a much brighter products I'm not saying that the products that that you were using back then were bad I'm just saying I think this is a much brighter and really really bright color um, you can do it however like you want. It doesn't have to be like the products that I was using. You can use any type of color eyeshadow that you want to create this beautiful sunset look. Um, sunset eyes. Um, so I'm going to give you a close up of the eyes. The eyes are really, really pretty. Um, with a little bit of gold in the middle. Um, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you so much for the five people who are subscribed. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. And let me know down in the comments if you guys want any more looks like this. But I am going to be doing some Halloween looks. I just have to come up with come up with like some some ideas. But let me know down in the comment section of what type of Halloween looks you guys want me to do. So, and thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night or wherever you are. And until next time, bye my loves.